The Todd Shapiro Show, Canada Laughs, Sirius XM 168. Hey, I, I got to ask if you don't mind, because you, you know the, the space uh, real well, the, the cryptocurrency space and uh, Venbex, of course, uh, for all your blockchain solutions. If there's any you know people who are intrigued by that, make sure you reach out to the Kevin and, and the entire team there. Um, I, I heard of this heist the other day, or I don't know what they call it, of a, of a Bitcoin exchange in, in, I believe, was it in Korea? Yeah, I think so. Um, or, or, and, and like, what is this? I mean, do people have reason to be fearful when they hear these stories? Or is that the media just making people be fearful of a space? Well, no. I mean, people definitely do have some real concerns, especially because there's no regulation around any of these exchanges. But what I, what I don't like is people think that the blockchain's compromised when these exchanges get hacked. But it's normally either mm. an inside job or they're just not holding their their funds properly. Like, if you put all your money in your mattress and your house burns down, you know, you're probably the one to blame. There's ways that they can hold these funds that they can't get stolen. They're just not being careful. But the market had a really bad reaction to it. $43 million roughly was stolen, but about $43 billion came out of the market. And that was also because the SEC kind of pulled a whole bunch of kind of – I hate what the what these guys are doing right now. Like they're basically saying um, last week that Ethereum and Bitcoin could be securities, and then the market started to drop down with this this heist. And then today they came out and said that Bitcoin, the CFTC said that Bitcoin and Ethereum will never be securities. Like literally contradicting themselves. And then the, now the market just started to go up about an hour and a half ago. Wow, that's really interesting. So can you, and just for, for someone who might not understand the difference of, of securities and sort of a, a coin or a token, what, what, what is that sort of layman's difference? Okay, so a security people kind of like re- recognize like a share of a company, right? So that'd be like a, a security. I, I, buy, I buy something on the stock market. I own a piece of this company. If it goes up, then I make money. If it goes down, I lose money. In the, in the crypto space, um, a token can, can be that, but it can also be so much more because a token is really just a digital vehicle of information. And the blockchain is just a, a road that this information sits on and the tokens are a way to navigate that road. So they can be anything from um, like identity, they can be access, they can be inherent to someone's platform, like an in-app currency. I mean, there's absolutely no boundaries on what you can do with a token, just like there's really no boundaries on what you can do with the information that we have online. It's, it, it's now we have blockchain, which is this like, you know, buzzword that's going around. And, but what it really does is it just allows us to transfer information in a more secure, efficient, and cheap way online. Good to know, and, and I know we've had these discussions when you've been on before, and, and, and not to get too deep in this because because it'd be easier yeah. with you here. But uh, obviously, due diligence is, is needed for all this stuff, and I think that's what it comes down to. But I just like the security token stuff. I think just just understanding that is good is good for people to know. And and uh, I mean the, the the space is fascinating. Have you learned? Is there anything like that? Are you continuing to learn new things in the space that even even sort of blow your own mind? Oh my! Every day, the, the space is just it's. It's moving exponentially fast, and we're always learning new things all the time. Um, you know, the, 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 the technology itself, there hasn't been too, too many um, advancements in it over the last couple of years, to be honest, but a lot of people making a lot of promises. But I think people are starting to really dig down and understand what they can do and what they can't do with this technology now that it's, more, it's becoming more mainstream. And, and what's the sort of a quick example of something that, that's just really intriguing you right now? Um, so, I mean, for me, one of the biggest things uh, has to do with, like, security and authentication and ownership kind of around people's data. So where, where we don't need, like, um, a third party to kind of hold our data. Like, we are the controllers of our own data. We are who we say we are. We can digitally share our information with anybody. And we are the ones that give permission to people, not, like, the banks or these third parties. Your information can't be hacked or stolen. And you know exactly who has your data at any time. And you can give access and revoke access. So I actually had a really cool meeting uh, earlier today just before this with a company that's doing this. Dude, you just really? gave me chills because that's so important. Like that is, that is, that is, that, that just gave me chills. That's something I never thought of, but on the blockchain, you control your own data and maybe a way to monetize your own data the way so many other people are monetizing your data. That, that is, that, that, that is game changing. That, that, and it's, you feel secure and safe by that also. And, and it's a nice extra revenue stream perhaps for people in, in a day and age where a lot of people need other revenue streams. 
A hundred percent. Imagine you making money off of how Instagram makes money off of you. So instead of Instagram making the money, you're making that money. Hey, listen, I like to make money. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, <laughs> that's super cool. Uh, well, Kevin Hobbs, man, uh, it's too bad we couldn't get you in studio. I know we only have a couple more minutes left here. Uh, Vanbex.com. We, we can do this any time. Will you come to my birthday show at, at Hemingway's on Wednesday? Are you in town uh, on Wednesday, this Wednesday? Not this Wednesday. I leave uh, Sunday, unfortunately. No! Are you got delayed. No way, dude. I just canceled your trip. I'm calling as your assistant. I just canceled your trip. If you get my assistant to cancel and kind of pencil you in, I don't know what I do because I literally just look at the calendar and that's where I am. Oh, it's in my calendar. I got to be there. I got to probably, yeah, it's my 45th uh, on Wednesday. We're doing a big uh, birthday bash live show at Hemingway's. Uh, we got like uh, some free beer there, like Wilcox doing sampling. We got Veritas Vodka, our sponsor, giving some vodka. Dude, I really wanted you there. That's too bad. But you're leaving. Are you going to China uh, Sunday? Uh, yeah, Sunday. Sunday I leave for no, no, no. Sunday I'm back in Vancouver, and then 25th I leave for China. But I gotta go go back to the, our head office in Vancouver and get some things in, in order. We've got a product launch hopefully at the end of this month. Rocket launches um, our, our plan to launch rockets at the end of this month, which is super exciting. First product in the world that like anybody is going to be able to use to launch their own tokens and crowdfunding stuff on the blockchain. So, like, you guys could all go on simply and launch your own token. Yeah, the, Todd, the Todd token could be launched, like, next week. The Todd can. <laughs> hey, hey, dude, uh, and I was sort of sharing you uh, an idea I had that he was picking apart, but I think he thought there was a little bit of a seed of idea, so maybe we'll grow that and then we'll launch it because I, 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 I do have this idea that I want to launch, and I, I'll definitely need Van Bex's help, which is what people can do. Go to Van Bex, Kevin. I only got a minute left. By the way, when you are gone, that same downtown place uh, you told me where I know where you live, uh, I'll, I'll also just pretend that I'm supposed to take care of it, okay? So, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's no problem there. We'll, I'll just tell the concierge to just let you in time. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you will. Okay, <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, Kevin Hobbs, and people can follow you again, remind me. Uh, so Twitter, VanBexK, uh, that's pretty much all the social media I really use. Um, or you can find me on LinkedIn if you want to really talk business. Uh, or on our website, VanBex.com. Awesome, man. Well, that was a lot of fun, and uh, we'll, we'll get you back next time, and we'll talk about uh, Rocket uh, and that launching. And uh, Cheers to you, man. I'll see you a little later. Sure. Thanks, guys. Appreciate Thanks, man. The Todd Shapiro Show. Canada Lass. Sirius XM 168.